As an exhibitor representative, you will have an exclusive access to Teams portal, which is a collaborative tool at the top right hand corner of the screen. This section can only be accessed on the web platform. So if you have activated your account via the mobile app, make sure to access your account on your desktop too in order to activate your Teams. If it's your first time to activate your Teams, all you have to do is to add your team name, which is your company name, and that will allow you to get started. And any representative from your company should also be connected if they have already registered for the event. In here, you'll be able to take action on your inbound leads, company chat, review your team members, and export contacts in a collaborative environment. Meeting section or meeting feature has been disabled for this event. Instead, we want you to focus on making connections via your recommendation list and for you to be able to action on your inbound leads as one of the key feature of Teams. The inbound leads section features any users on the platform that interacted or has activity to anything that is linked to your company. So let it be the products you've uploaded via the eZone, if you're sponsoring or speaking to any session, or any of your exhibitor representative as long as they are linked to your company. Again, any interaction linked to your company will go through directly to your inbound leads for you to review. There's going to be a tag indicating why a user becomes your lead. Basically, inbound leads is classified as any views interested in and has a connection with. The list is dynamic. Each of the team member you see here would see a different iteration of the list, so it allows you to work on a personal basis and skip profiles that aren't for you to work on, and the total number of leads will always be the same for each team member. What's interesting is that you can now add notes to the leads that will allow your colleagues to collaborate more easily and share information about the leads before and during the event. You can simply tag your colleague by using the add sign button and then look for the name of your colleague and then hit the save button and they will receive a notification via email. Afterwards, you can even review your notes, you can edit or delete it as well. A lead becomes your contact when there is a mutual connection and the difference of a contact is that it can be exported however your inbound leads cannot as they are considered soft leads so technically you need to take action on them by showing interest and if the user shown interest back that's a mutual connection and that will move to your contact list so it's really important that you guys work together when you see a lead come in so all your connections or contacts that you and your team have established throughout the event the event can be exported right into this area by clicking this section. Moving on to the company chat. Any users who send you a message via your exhibitor virtual booth, this will appear right into this section. And any representative will be able to respond to this as you are responding on behalf of the company rather than as a representative itself. So it doesn't have to be the same person to reply each time. Now, if you want to review all your team members, you have to go to the team member section. The first user who logs into the team portal and activated the team's profile will automatically become the admin and the rest will become team members. The only difference is that as an admin, I can see this well icon and I can make another team member an admin by changing the role over here. So you can have multiple admins at the same time. In case you need to invite someone to be part of your teams, you won't be able to do it from here, so don't worry about this button. Everyone who registered from your company should automatically be connected. And for any queries, please do get in touch with the organizers. If anyone from your company advise you that they cannot get into the Teams portal, make sure you as an admin logs in to monitor and accept the request from your team member. This only happens when there's new representative linked to your company after you have created your teams. Now, when you go to the company profile, you will not be able to do anything in here. Please focus on updating your company profile via the eZone and those updates should automatically be reflected on the Glee app. Same goes on uploading your products or managing your resources that should be automatically be pulled through. Now, if you are curious how your profile is looking to other users, check your exhibitor name by searching your company name right here. From here, you'll be able to see all the data that you've added into your company profile. You can see it's all nicely linked together with the details, your exhibitor representative, if you're sponsoring a session, or if you have added products or other resource center. 
Also one thing to note that other attendees will only be able to see this feature, the chat feature in your company booth once your team is activated. This will also give you an idea on what other users can do when they visit your booth. And always, you can make any changes at any time on both company profile and products through your exhibitor zone.